So everybody, we are in a city that was built by the Belarusian Communist Party. The city of Minsk was entirely flattened during World War II and was rebuilt from scratch. So we have these kind of communist vibes, but check that out, Burger King. And here in Belarus, you don't have a lot of retailers that are foreign. You do have a lot of foreign goods. But the biggest imprint here are the Burger Kings, the KFCs and the McDonald's. So I'm gonna show you what a Burger King here in Belarus looks like. I'm in at the top of an Amiga Street here. It's got a nice little outdoor area. In fact, what we'll do is we'll enter from that side. It's a bit more happening that side. Burger King. A little bit colder today, so no one's enjoying the outdoor setting. Let's go inside. You can see the graphic here. Cheddar. Let me go back. I'm going to read that for you. Yet. So what happens here a lot uh, in these kind of places is that they just use the same English words but change them into uh, Russian characters. So let's walk in. Got a couple of places, three places for the order. Let's show you the counter first. So you can order here manually. Now I'll just show you the setup here. So you can order here. There's another couple of Screens there, self serve, order here, and then you've got everything up here. So, let me show you uh, what there is. So let me start on this side. So, uh, this is uh, here, King Combo. This is our uh, chicken tartar. So, you obviously get everything together there, medium or large. The exchange rate, you'll see it's 13. The exchange rate is about 2.5 rubles. So, for the combo here, it's around 5. Uh, US dollars. Everything I'm saying, of course, is in US dollars. And you'll see here, these are big ones. So, Angus uh, Parmesan is this one. Angus Parmesan, and that is uh, for the King Combo. So, burger only. Tolka Burger is 13.6. I won't put my finger there because it's wrecking the, uh, the focus. It's around $5 for the burger, around $8 for the combo uh, for both the Angus Chef and the Angus Paramesan. They're 150 grams, as you can probably see. And we've got this cheddar, uh, I'll say it in English, cheddar bacon uh, king. And for this, obviously, you can see there's bacon inside, there's cheddar on the top of uh, the burger there, and that's around on the seven, eight dollars. So it's, look at the pricing here, it's pretty premium, certainly compared to uh, McDonald's and definitely KFC, it's quite premium. You can see again here, We've got some more wraps here. These are around kind of $5, $6. So 15 is about $6. 12 is about five. You can kind of see pretty clearly what's going on there. Then we've got some uh, calamari chicken wings uh, nuggets. So you can see there, nuggets. Six nuggets is around $2.50. Nine nuggets is around $3.50. And fries are around $1.50 or $2. They look like almost sweet potato. No, it's not a potato. And this is a local thing here. It's like a saraniki. It's a local dish uh, made from, or usually made from, uh, oh sorry, that's just cheese. Saraniki, that's not saraniki, it's just cheese. And some prawns there, some shrimp. If you want, I'll quickly show you the full menu. Let's give you an idea of what else is going on. So these are desserts. You can see desserts are usually kind of one or two dollars here. Salads there, Caesar salad for around four dollars. And all the different kinds of nuggets and so forth as well. I'll go for a bit of a walk for you. You can have a look at what it looks like inside. Probably very similar. Tell me what differences you see from your city. Head here. So that says the home of the Whopper. Home of the Whopper. So pretty much the culture here is you buy there, you buy there, then you queue up along the back here, and they bring your order out here. You see lots of burgers and stuff ready there, ready for the taking. Just take you for a quick walk around the dining room. 
to see what's going on. There's obviously a higher level there uh, and a lower level. You see people just chilling out, having a burger. A couple of kids doing their thing here. Yep. There must be free refills, judging by uh, this here. Oh, upstairs, just go walk up one way, walk down the other, just to show you. Uh, well, see, I've never actually been in here before. I've just been in briefly to buy some water. I've never actually eaten in here, so oh, it's a very strong smell of whopper. Very strong smell of whopper. So it seems like it's much more popular to be uh, up on the top level here. Much more people. So you can see many younger people, sub 25. Is your demographic here? You can probably sub 20. I'd say a lot of be students. University year just started a few weeks ago uh, here in Europe. So I'll take you out this way. So, do tell me, how does the menu compare to your country? How do the prices compare to your country? Uh, is it cheaper? Is it more expensive? Because I'm aware that. Some people here will be in, uh, away from you, from you. Uh, a lot of people here will be uh, listening, watching, will be from uh, the West. Some will be, you know, people in Belarus. Some will be Belarusians in another country. Some will be maybe from Czech or from Hungary, or I'm noticing I'm getting uh, viewers from a wide range of countries. So I'd love to hear your comparisons in terms of the menu and then in terms of the prices and the vibe of the place. I'd love to hear any uh, comparison, uh, comparisons that you might want to make. I'll go for a bit of a stroll. I'm gonna walk over to the KFC over there and do another video, but for now, I'll just go for a bit of a stroll over. So you can just come with me, see what's going on. So yeah, these are very popular, these American fast food restaurants. Uh, remarkably popular. They're generally quite cheap. I mean, Burger King there is quite expensive compared to McDonald's and KFC. KFC is really kind of more budget they give out a lot of coupons for like, you know, meals for like a dollar fifty, this kind of thing. There'll probably be someone over there. There's usually someone over there handing out coupons. I'll grab one for you and show you what you might get at a discounted rate. I can't see anyone there actually. There's usually a young person there handing out those little coupon codes for maybe four rubles, dollar fifty or so. So I'll go over the KFC on the other side there, you can see. A lot of KFCs, there's another one up there, another one further up. Within about one kilometre, there's three KFCs. As I say, this is really uh, for the teenagers in particular, have a tighter budget. It's only the cheapest of the three major fast food chains. You have a few other ones, things like Domino's, and but some of these, obviously, they're not owned by the mother company, they're franchised, and the rights are sold for a certain region and so forth. It depends which company you're talking about. So we'll get across the road here. And I'll make another video walking into KFC. I've already made one walking into McDonald's uh, separately. And you can even see here at the entrance of KFC, let's whet your appetite both for KFC and for uh, watching this video that's going to come up. So you can see here, the, uh, that says chicken burger combo, chicken burger combo, only four rubles. It's a bit small, it's a bit modest. Get the nuggets in there, the coke and the thing there. So you can see it's an entirely different price point. And up there, uh, these different things from about one dollar. You can see familiar sights there. It's got the jam in the circular donut there. So I'll go inside now, but I'll make a different video. So for now, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a like. I really appreciate it. And if you want to see more content like this, please do subscribe to my channel.